friends, it's Igor from asktolik.com and we are back with a special video. We're gonna have a free giveaway in this video. We're gonna make an ASO analysis of your Android app. It's gonna be a 30 minutes call with the value of 200 USD, uh, US dollars, okay? And it's going to be given away free. Uh, stick around to the end of the video. I will tell you all the rules how to enter in the competition. Um, basically in the next video we're gonna choose the winner uh, in the video with random algorithm that he's gonna choose it totally random you will just need to follow the rules that I'm gonna explain in the end of the video okay so stick around it's gonna be a really cool video with a lot of information and a free giveaway okay so today what I wanted to talk to you about is uh, to give you an uh, Android checklist. Okay, a lot of uh, developers or companies uh, come into us, they maybe need some tips or they need uh, some information, how they begin, how to start. And we made uh, some cool checklist, basically all the points that you need to cover uh, in your ASO uh, in order to get the right results. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Google algorithm, Google Play. And if you will be interested, in the next video I can make a checklist for App Store, okay? Because both of the stores are pretty different. Same rules don't apply, okay? So the checklist is going to be different for both of them. Okay, so let's begin. Basically, the most important part in uh, is so in Google Android, in Google Play, sorry, it's basically the title. Okay, the title, you should use uh, all the available characters and um, this is the strongest part in ASO. Okay, what comes first in the title, you're gonna get uh, the most power uh, on this key phrase for the Google Play algorithm. Okay, so <laughs> this is the most relevant for traffic and indexing. So, first of all, application title, if you have brand name, never put it in the beginning only if it's some familiar brand name that have a high search volume that people you know that people searching for your brand only then we will suggest to put it in the title other uh, in other cases if you're if you have a new brand uh, nobody's searching for it and you need to understand the algorithm works by simply people typing uh, in the search uh, field some key phrase or some keyword and you need to be on top for this key phrase and keywords so your potential users will be able to find you better. Okay, so if you have a brand name and you want really to build it up, uh, we will suggest never put it in the beginning, always put it in the end of the keywords in the title. So basic formula will be used to keywords in the title and the brand name will be in the end. Okay, so this is it for the title, this is the first part. Okay, now we will go to the short description. Okay, it's also indexing the keywords that you use there. So I will suggest to repeat the keywords from the title and add one or two new keywords in the short description. Also very important in the short description to pull a CTA, call to action basically in the short description for the user to download it. Okay, you can see uh, short descriptions may be uh, problematic from uh, desktop but you can use it with the Chrome extensions. Okay, I made a video um, about top three Chrome extensions that you can use to see the short description. Okay, it's gonna pop up somewhere here. You can click on it and see the video with the extensions you can use that will help you. Okay, by the way, it's really important uh, extensions for Chrome for anyone who is interested in ASO and want to know how to make it right. Okay, so this is it for short description. Let's go for the long description. Okay, so the long description, uh, basically unlike in the App Store, it's uh, getting indexing and you don't have uh, in Google Play some special field uh, to put the keywords in there. So just put the keywords in the title, short and long description. Okay, we suggest that your uh, long description will be about 2000 characters and uh, keeping the keyword density about one and a half to and a half percent so basically repeating the keywords between three to five times most of the times 
and this will allow you to get uh, the best results for the algorithm. What is important in the uh, description? It needs to be structured well. Uh, images and HTML tags will, will help you with the description structure and also it should be logical. Okay, it's really important for, for Google to that it's going to be in human language. Okay, the algorithm know how to use it. They have uh, basically AI for natural language and they know how to give you a score and categorize you uh, in uh, the right category. Okay, it's very important for Google that it will not be spammy, so it should be written with a good copy and the keywords need to be implemented in the right way. Okay, so I will suggest, let's say we are using two keywords in the title, another new two keywords in the short description, and let's say somewhere between five to ten keywords in the long description. Okay, and it should be logical. Uh, maybe in the next video, uh, because it's a uh, other topic and it's kind of more in depth, I'm going to show you how exactly Google categorizing your uh, description and your app based on their neural uh, language. Okay, so basically it's something that uh, you can use and to see exactly uh, what uh, results Google gives you. So for the structure, as I mentioned before, good idea to use images and HTML tags. It's really important to make it in a good structure. And that's it for the long description. Now we will go to developer name. Okay, so developer name, it's uh, pretty important as a factor. Okay, from our knowledge, it's um, necessary to add a few keywords in the developer name. It can help you. So it's also something that get in an index. Uh, maybe to use two keywords and after this the developer name. So let's say uh, like uh, uh, bicycle riding and um, any other keyword and after this just uh, put your developer name. Okay. Same goes for the package. Okay, better to use the most relevant keywords in the package and uh, very important to understand that you cannot change it after this, okay? You cannot change uh, the package name. So once you upload your app, the package name stays the same. It's really, it's possible, but it's really tricky. Better not to do it, okay? Better not to change the package name. So put the most relevant keywords there. And once you upload to Google Play, it's gonna stick like this for uh, the rest of the time. Okay, another important uh, part of uh, Google uh, Play algorithm is their views. Okay, uh, we actually know how to get reviews that we want and uh, the words and the key phrases that are written in the review also get in indexed. Okay, so if you can get your uh, users to write a review and use some keywords in there, it's going to help your ISO as well. Okay, we know from experience that uh, reviews are getting indexed by ASO and with the right reviews you can even uh, increase your ASO. Uh, also maybe in the next ones of the next videos I will make a tutorial about how you can get reviews. It's actually pretty simple if you know the right tools and uh, the right uh, tactics uh, to make them. So it's uh, not a problem for uh, most of the <coughs> companies and if you need reviews also we are providing this service we can provide you with the right reviews for your application or game another uh, important feature and another important uh, topic in a uh, software google play it's google play tags okay it's a new feature i made a video about it you can uh, look uh, at the video and get an idea about how to use the tags and what to do with them and their power Basically, it's something that Google added not that long ago and uh, it's helping uh, for Google to categorize and uh, uh, basically put your app in the right category. Uh, all the traffic that coming from tags, it's not the search traffic, it's from the explore page. Basically, suggested uh, games or apps for other users, this way uh, they can come to your app. So all the traffic from tags coming from the explore page and uh, really important to use them 
Uh, it's basically in the store listing in Google Play. I made a video about this and you can exactly see uh, what you need to do uh, in order to add the tags and how to use them right. Another important uh, part in Google Play so it's screenshots. Okay, so screenshots um, we know that they're getting indexed the captions on the screenshots sometimes getting indexed uh, in Google Play we know about uh, cases like this so you you can even test it okay you can write uh, some uh, keywords on the screenshot uh, caption without using this keyword in the title or short or long description and basically see if you get an indexed and ranked for this keyword only from the description screenshot caption this way you can see if uh, you can increase your ASO in your app case with the simple test. Just add some keyword in the caption uh, and this keyword must not uh, be in any other uh, part of your ASO. So, cool idea to use uh, relevant keywords in the screenshot captions which will help your rankings. Okay, so this is all for screenshots and uh, the last and not least, very important part is localization. Better to add all possible languages that you can. Okay, uh, you can do it for free in Google uh, Translate, but it will not be as good if some uh, native ASO expert did it, like we have. We have a team of uh, localization experts that everyone is native in their own language and they're trained in the ASO. They exactly know how to make the right ASO for both Google Play and iOS. And this also can give you huge results. And basically what we know that only every local is affecting uh, other local. So for example, if you're making a uh, localization for Italian, Turkish or Japanese, it will affect your queries in US and your indexing in the US. Okay, so we know it for sure that any added language can affect any other added language in Google Play. So localization is a must. Uh, if you have budget restriction, you can do it for free, but you will not get the same results if you will do it with an ASO expert in the native language that know how to make the keyword research and how to implement them. Okay, another part that uh, you need to remember is basically that all the changes in Google Play, they take about two weeks. Okay, they can take up to two weeks or even longer in some cases to basically get all the changes. So be patient with Google Play. It's not like iOS, it's happened immediately. And the Google Play takes time in order to change to set in, so don't make too many updates and too many changes. Every update that you make, wait for the results, see what you're exactly getting, and work from there. Okay, now for the fun part of the video, we have a contest, and as I said in the beginning of the video, basically in this contest, uh, you're gonna get the winner, gonna get a free 30 minutes call. Uh, with me and I'm gonna make a full analysis of your ASO and gonna give you some strategy and tips how you can improve your app, how you can uh, basically get more rankings and more good downloads. Okay, so it's uh, must, the rules, it's somebody that uh, must have an Android app, okay? So it's only for Android currently, maybe in the next video you'll have a different contest, but right now it's for Google Play. So you need to have an app live on Google Play okay and better that you will have some small budget of 40 50 bucks okay so we can start with some uh, pushing but it's not a must okay just suggest it if not it's okay uh, we will give you all the free tools that you can use and the rules to be in the contest okay you need to like this video you need to subscribe and write a comment okay it can be any comment you can leave, uh, leave a link there in your, uh, uh, to your uh, Google Play account or to your Google Play game and you just need to add the hashtag contest, that's it. Okay, so just add the hashtag contest in your comments that we know that you want to participate and in the next video I will uh, choose by random, with random algorithm, random tool, uh, the winner. Okay, we're gonna contact you and um, that's it, so it's uh, 
$200 uh, value of a price. Really cool, can give you a lot of success and to help you with your app if you don't know how to use ASO or you already know how to use ASO and want to even improve it even more. So this is the contest for you. Okay, so I'm repeating the rules. Like, subscribe, leave a comment with the hashtag contest and uh, we will choose a winner in the next video. Probably it's gonna be somewhere next week, okay? Also, I'm gonna leave uh, links to this uh, checklist that I made uh, in the comment uh, in the comment below. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. And let me know in the comments also what you think, what you want to learn about it. So if you want me to make a video like this for Apple, we can make something similar uh, with the rules for Apple. And that's it, guys. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.